Hello everybody, this is Mega Amster here, and uh, yeah, so I got another unboxing today. This I believe this is unboxing number 7. And uh, yeah, today is Friday, December 4th, uh, which means that Xenoblade Chronicles X came out today in America. And as you can see, I got myself a new copy, just got it maybe, I bought it about like an hour ago or so. And uh, while I was at GameStop, I told, I told myself I'm not going to get any Amiibo unless I see a really good one. And I saw a really good one! That is Mewtwo right here. Uh, he was released almost a month ago, back in November. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure the same day uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival released. Amiibo Festival, yeah. It was the same day as that. And then they also had all the uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo there. They had Ganondorf as well at the GameStop I went to, so... That's nice. They have a good Amiibo there, it seems like. But yeah, the <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles X wasn't even on the shelf yet. They were like, oh yeah, we didn't have time to do that. I'm like, or it's just nobody's gonna buy this game, and I don't know. Uh, I don't know if anybody's gonna buy this game, but I hope, because this game looks good. And a lot of people have been saying it's like a niche game, like it's only for certain people, but I mean, anybody, I feel like anybody can really get into it. It's, if you don't know what Xenoblade Chronicles is, it's, it's, uh, it's a JRPG. Uh, it's pretty sick. I, I still haven't played the original on the Wii, or the new 3DS, because I don't have a new 3DS, but... I plan on doing that eventually, but yeah, here we go, we got Zelda Chronicles X. Luckily, you don't need to know anything about the first game to play this one, which is good, so that I can actually play this. However, I don't even know if I have enough space in my Wii U for this. It depends how much space this takes up. And this is the physical version, so here we go. Let's look at the uh, box art. A Wii U, Nintendo Network ID right there. And look at that, uh, that's called a scale, if you didn't know. It's a pretty sick giant robot. They're called dolls in the J Japanese version. Uh, he got some characters there. That, I believe, is Elma. I think her name is, uh, is that Lau or is that the player character? I don't know. I think that's Lin, and that's, uh, the Nopon guy. I forget what his name is in this game. He's Riki in, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, the original. It's Riki. I, I forget what his name is in this one. That's, uh, yeah. There's Xenoblade Chronicles X, the title. See, it's rated teen. Sorry about the, the light, though. It's reflecting off of here, but Tendo, and you can see they're in, like, a very, uh, a very like interesting area I guess a lot of grass and creatures like that and I think that's a creature I don't even know but yeah uh, let's let's look at the side for a second oh it's another Chronicles X boom that's the logo it's nice so the earth is gone your new home awaits explore the strange vistas of a hostile alien planet discover survey sir so, Oh, oh, I see. Discover. Survey the vast, uncharted reaches uh, of the planet Mira. So you can see we got like a outer space. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. You know what? For just for just one second, I'm gonna turn this light off, so you can see this better, maybe. But you got a space area here. You got a like a lava area here. That's uh, that's some character I don't know. And I believe that's a picture of a skill if I'm looking at it closely enough. Uh, here it says fight. Uh, master combat art, combat arts against ferocious life forms, large and small. So you've got that's called New Los Angeles, and then you've got some of the characters. There's another picture of a skeleton like in the sunset, and more skeletons flying through the air. Upgrade: Earn your own robotic skeleton, customize it to take on gigantic enemies head to head, and travel to new heights. If you can see it, you can reach it, which is pretty sick. Uh, game explains uploaded footage of how high they can reach it too. It's pretty nice. Of course, you got just the characters traveling through Mira. Uh, a lot of those pictures. That looks really cool. A scale flying over the water. Uh, here we've got that's bad. That's uh, some of the combat. It's hard to see, but that's some of the combat. All these I think are pictures of the combat. Yeah. Um, does it say how much uh, space it takes up? Miiverse functionality. Okay. Uh, and then you got the uh, gamepad and the pro controllers. The only ones it works with. Great a teen. Oh, they use alcohol. Suggestive themes. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. Um, it doesn't say how much space it takes up, does it? No. Okay, well, anyways, I'll turn the light back on. And, yeah, that's uh, the Chronicles X. Why don't I actually open up the plastic? So, let me get a pair of scissors. Uh, should have one here somewhere in my backpack. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. There we go. Got a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna cut the plastic off. There. Hopefully the light won't shine as bad now. 
Yeah. Hopefully not, at least. I don't, I don't know, but... Trash. Here we go. Oh, yeah, not nearly as bad. It's because that plastic was very, like, shiny and it reflected a lot of the light. Here we go. Here's the, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Stupid, uh... E-manuals. Yeah. Nobody likes that crap. Seriously, like... Old manuals were the best. Now we got... The disc itself. Let's see if it's, uh, top quality. Oh, boy! What's good? Yeah, I don't know who that guy is right there. Who is that guy? Seriously. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? You see this guy? Who is he? Seriously. What? I don't know why he's on my disc. And yeah, you got a skull. Uh, and you got... Yeah, that's new Los Angeles. You got Lynn and Elma, and I... It's either Lau or the player character. You have some flying things that I don't know what those are, but... One thing I do like about the Wii U disc is this weird, like... Almost feels like plastic outer, like, outer, uh, layer to it on the very side. It's hard to tell, but once when you can feel the difference, it really feels different, and it's probably to help protect the disc, which I think is a smart idea. I don't know if, uh, PlayStation 4 or Xbox One games do that, but if they do, then good for them. Okay, well, that's Emily Chronicles X, and, uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna show footage off of that game because it's getting really close to Christmas time anyways, and... Uh, yeah, so not a lot of time for me to do that. Um, but anyways, let's move on to the Mewtwo Amiibo. Oh, you seen that price tag? I know. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, I paid 13 bucks for a big whoop. That's the normal price. Went to GameStop for it, okay? Jeez. So here we go. We got the artwork for Mewtwo. It's so good. The first DLC Amiibo, and I own them. And, you know, Amiibo, yeah. Supercharger gameplay, custom, complete, ugh, collect, customize, and com compete. There we go, I uh, know. <laughs> Battle me with Amiibo, uh, you got Mewtwo, level him up to 50. As friends or foes, Amiibo, join the battle! And here you've got uh, Mewtwo using his down B, I believe, on, uh, I think it's disable against uh, Little Mac, which kind of stuns him for a second. And, yeah. That's... The artwork on the back, let's open this guy right up. And yes, I I do not preserve this artwork. Sorry. If you watch some of my other uh, boxings of, uh, unboxings of Amiibo before, you, you should know that already. I don't I don't preserve nothing except the Amiibo itself. Oh, wow, Mewtwo, you're really uh, tough to get out there, aren't you, boy? Yeah, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow, it's actually, it's bigger than I thought it kind of was. But, here we go. This is the Mewtwo Amiibo. Really, ooh, wow, it's like a nice, like, it's like a nice, like, not rubbery, but like, it's so nice. It feels like clay. It's not, though, but it's sick. This is, this is Mewtwo. You know, of course, if you know Pokemon, if you know Smash Brothers, this is Mewtwo. And, uh, yeah, they really got him good. The eyes, his legs look fat, but I mean, that's his, original design anyways. He looks like Mewtwo. Uh, this is really special to me, especially because I used to play Gen 1 Pokemon a lot when I was a kid on uh, Pokemon Yellow and the Game Boy Color. And this this was just... It's really nostalgic for me. Uh, the only problem I have is, of course, this little thingy. The clear thing. At least it's clear, though. But part of me wonders, do they really need it? I mean, I guess, because they only have the feet barely touching. If they could have changed the feet... Then I feel like, them feet! If they could have changed them feet, then I feel like they wouldn't have had to even use this plastic thing, but I don't know. But, yeah. Sorry I'm making it a little quick, but just because I want to get this over with, or else it's going to be too long. But, that is Mewtwo, the amiibo. And I'll let you guys look at that while I make some space for him. Where am I going to put him? I should put him next to Pikachu, shouldn't I? Uh, let's see. Make some space for him. Oh, I'm going to change the game and watch his pose, too. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be doing Xenoblade Chronicles X footage. At least not now. I might, like, in the future, if I do, like, an Amps Plays and I cho uh, and I choose him. I choose you, Pikachu. If I choose Xenoblade Chronicles X, then I'll play it. But I don't know. I probably wouldn't play the whole thing, because that would be a lot to do. Uh, crap, how am I going to do this? Okay, if I move him there, him there. There. Uh. Whoop. Gotta try to fit all these guys. Uh. 
figure it out somehow. I have that song from Smash Bros, the uh, Game & Watch song stuck in my head. It's pretty good. I like that. I'll move these guys over a little bit too. Hold on. I'm almost done, guys. Don't worry. That should be enough room. Okay. Well, one last look at Senator Chronicles X before we switch over to the Amiibo shelf. Which will be happening now! Okay, there we go. So there's my whole. Oh, 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 oh! There's the uh, Amiibo collection. Uh, let me zoom out a little more so you can see them all. That's the whole thing right there. Yeah. So, uh, that's the whole thing. And let's actually go in and. Zoom in on where I'm putting Mewtwo, so that space right behind Pikachu and uh, Game & Watch. I'm going to put Mewtwo, let's put him right there. Oh, his tail barely misses uh, the the duck's uh, wing the, from the duck on Amiibo, barely misses him. But, he fits. Hey! Right behind Pikachu, that looks nice. See? Got him all right there, boy. That's a good spot for Mewtwo, looks nice. Very tall. And then we got all those guys down there. And yeah, that's uh, 22 Amiibo. Jeez. Uh, yeah, so, that's it. <laughs> Woo. So, thank you all for watching. Sorry, it might be, it's gonna be at least 10 minutes, probably like 15, like, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little long, but uh, thanks for watching if you did. If you like this video, uh, you know, if you like the content you saw, then, you know, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you are looking forward to, I don't know, other unboxings in the future, because I'm sure I will be doing some, then, you know, subscribe. And then that way, the next unboxing I have, uh, I can, uh, you, I'll show up in your sub feed, and then you can watch it from there. You click on it, and boom, there you go. Unboxing number eight, whenever that happens. Uh, so I can't really confirm another unboxing, but, like, if I get, the next unboxing will probably be, be like, probably not this month, it'll probably be, like, earlier next month. But, I don't know. Uh, also, the Game Awards 2015 were last night, and I watched it live. And I would like to do an impressions video for all of you. Um, I would like to upload it and, you know, have that. Uh, I want to do that Monday, because I'm not, I couldn't do a live reaction video, because it was, like, late at night. Of course, I'm not going to wake my parents up by doing that. But... I did, uh, I did have some things I wanted to talk about, and maybe like a, it'd probably be like a 10 minute video or so, just briefly talking about some of the stuff that ha that happened, some of the stuff that got revealed, some of the awards that were given out, and yeah, so I'm going to try to do that on Monday. Also, I am going to, eventually, whenever the Smash Brothers broadcast uh, is, I'm going to try to react to that, like do live reactions like I did for the Direct, but change it up a little bit so you see more of my face, I guess, my facial reactions, um, yeah, so, apparently it was supposed, to, it was leaked, uh, well, it wasn't really leaked, it was, there was a rumor that, uh, it was gonna be on Wednesday the 16th of this month, I don't know if that's true, yeah, I don't think anything's been confirmed yet, but, if it is, then cool, I'm gonna try to do a reaction to it, whatever it is, as long as it's before Christmas vacation, so, yeah, so uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, look forward to that kind of uh, look forward to those videos. Another unboxing maybe like next month, and uh, a couple more videos with the Game Awards and the Smash Brothers broadcast whenever that happens. And yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Take care, and yeah, I'm kind of done, I guess. I don't